It's the new Mecca. Miami's the new Mecca of boxing. Uh, what was it like going through everything this week, having the late opponents switch up? How much did that play with you mentally, or did it focus you even more? I mean, like I said in the interview we had a couple of days ago, you know what I'm saying? I was taught never to quit, never let nothing disturb me, and just stay focused. And, you know, things change. That's life. But it's God's plan, and I just handle business tonight. You've done so good dealing with patience and frustrations. Uh, how good was it tonight to get that frustration out in the ring and put on a performance like this in front of your crowd? Um, it was great. It just, uh, you know, it's funny. You know, they say the same thing about Badu Jack. You know, I, last week I heard him say how he has, you know, bad juju and all this bad karma. I feel like it's kind of the same with me. Like, every time I have opportunity, I'm about to take that next step. Something crazy happens, but I just take it like a grain of salt, man, and just keep moving. Did you feel him Wilton? Like, did you feel like he was going to quit at any time, any time the, the, the ring was? That third, was it third or the fourth round? Whatever the last round was, I heard him. I, when I, was, I had him in the ropes. I hear him when I was in him. Uh, uh, I know he was gassing out. I was going to take him out. It was that round, or if I had more time, or the next round. But, you know, he was smart. I know boxing rules. If I would have knocked him out, he can't fight for 60 days. He, he's trying to eat. You know what I'm saying? He only got a 30-day suspension now. You had your guy, James John. Yeah. yeah, you got James Johnson to the ring. How cool is that having, uh, you know, always that you've always had that local support. I know you're close with him, but just having that, uh, you know, always having these guys, these high profile guys in the community come and see you, see you perform your craft. I mean, um, it's just a great feeling because they are top level athletes and they profession. I feel like I'm a top level, uh, top level athlete in my, in my, in my um, sport. So it's just, you know, it feels good to have them, you know, my peers and, you know, different sports, but I feel like we're peers and we, we doing we doing our thing, and you know I watch them all the time, and it feels good for them to be watching me too. You're on a high right now, so I don't expect you to know every every detail of what's next. But like I know, you wanted to get uh, you know one of the, the belts tonight, not the belt that you wanted. But when do you think you'll be able to write the write the ship and get the one that you actually want to get you to the path of where you ultimately want, which is a world title? Yeah, right now we're gonna have to kind of go back to the drawing board because you know the plan kind of got detoured. So you know, but we already talked about it briefly to, to get back in the ring right 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 back August 14th and maybe you know fight a big name or fight for the intercontinental title for the IBO and something for the WBO at the same time. Congratulations champ great performance by you man and uh, I know you're always pleasing your crowd. Yes sir thank you for coming um, I appreciate you and uh, can't wait to see you guys again uh, maybe August 14th I'll see you guys.